folks, James here, and basically the moral to this story is, well, timing is everything. You know, whoever thought releasing a game at this time was a good idea should be fired. I, I remember saying a few months ago that this was a stupid idea. So what am I talking about? Now, as you know, on November the 10th, two games came out. Uh, one called Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is an Xbox exclusive, and the other one is a little-known game. You may have heard of it. It's called Fallout 4. Now, both of those that released last Tuesday, uh, sorry, not last Tuesday, what am I on about? One released on the Tuesday and Tomb Raider released on the Friday, I, be I believe, here in the UK. And this just proves, I just want to point out, I've played Rise of the Tomb Raider, I got the pair of them. And don't get me wrong, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a brilliant game. I strongly recommend you go out and buy it. You will have a lot of fun. This, well, this is if you've got an Xbox One or 360, of course. You know, PS4 owners can't get it till, I believe, December next year. But anyway, basically what I'm on about is the first week of sales uh, have been released here in the UK. And this is UK retail releases. Now, I'm going to let you know roughly how many copies Fallout 4 sold. They sold roughly 482,000 units. Now, that is really impressive in this first week as sales for Fallout 4. Now, in contrast to Rise of the Tomb Raider... Now, you're probably thinking they had to have sold 100,000 copies or something. You know, they, you, they obviously were going to sell a lot worse than Fallout 4, but, well, I'm just going to come out and say it. They sold just 63,000 copies at UK retail. And that pretty much proves that timing is everything, because it's a shame as well, because, like I said, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a really good, fun, enjoyable game. And I say I would recommend it. Now with that, I'll restart my playthrough again uh, tomorrow morning. It's a great game, bad timing. It pretty much reminds me of the PlayStation Vita where that's a phenomenal little console. You know, the games that are out on there, how on earth a little tiny handheld like that can cope with that is brilliant. But again, that was bad timing because that's a handheld device. Most people use the handheld devices just for casual games. Hence why you see the 3DS doing so well. But this is what I would have done if I was guy for Rise of the Tomb Raider. I would have released it, I don't know, say a week after Just Cause 3. Because I'm guessing Just Cause 3 would sell well. Release it a week later. It's close to the Christmas period. The majority of people would say, oh, I'll just ask for it for Christmas. And they would sell a shit ton more than 63,000. That's for sure. Now, by contrast, I'm guessing Star Wars Battlefront will sell way, way more than that but i to be fair it would sell like crazy anyway because the fact it's star wars related you know i could probably sell off star wars nipple tassels and still outsell rise of the tomb raider you know but i i hope they learn a lesson from this and look at where all the other big name releases and if another tomb raider does come out in the future they focus on their timing and make sure they get it right because it's just a shame that it only sold sixty three thousand copies here in the uk and it's a really, really good game. This is Jamesy Boy logging off. You take care.